Lazy Boy couches. You gotta love them. They're so comfortable and they're really durable. They last a long time. We've had these for about six years. We have a couch and we have a love seat. And the, uh, the reclining mechanism is really great too because it's just so comfortable. Now, when you have a couch like this, usually you're going to have either something on the side that engages the, uh, the footrest. But in this case, because the arm cushions are so big, they didn't put them over here. They actually put them next to the cushion. And I actually think that's a design flaw by Lazy Boy. And I'll tell you why. Because these little rip cords break over time. And they're really frustrating because they get sharp. The cables are sharp. People get cut as they start to fray. It's really not pleasant. So, the interesting thing is that Lazy Boy guarantees their mechanisms for life, which means this part is guaranteed for life. They will replace it for free. That's the part. They won't replace it for you, okay? The parts are free. You gotta learn how to do it yourself, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. The broken mechanism is actually deep in the side here. You can see what happens is the, uh, the cable actually cuts through the plastic just from being pulled. Because people don't pull them this way. They tend to pull them straight. That's the design flaw. There's only one screw that holds it. And you just got to push down the cushion and use your cordless drill to take that off. I'm a liar here. This one has two screws in it. So from the factory it has two screws in it. And uh, I guess I've never replaced this one before. Now when I put them back I only put them back with one screw because I tend to have to do this multiple times. So that takes the cable out you can see now we've actually got to flip the couch over to get to the other side okay I flipped the couch over here's the mechanism you can see the cable here but it's a little difficult to see the best thing to do is to actually engage the footrest and to do that you just push on this little piece right here engages the footrest gets that out of the way you could see this is the cable it goes underneath through the uh, the side next to the cushion. To get it off you need a pair of needle nose pliers and just kind of work it over that little catch there. So that's disengaged. And then it's held on here which just comes off like that. So now it's free. Now I'm going to actually turn it back over again and pull it through from the top. There you go. And this is the new one. You can see it's an identical replacement, but I think they did make an improvement here. They put what looks to be a vinyl piece on here to try and cut down the fraying. I don't think it really helps though, because I think this is like the, I think this is the fourth one I've replaced. So every few years, if you, depending upon the use of the couch, every few years it needs to be done again. So I feed that underneath there. And this is the most challenging part, which is actually to find the screw hole and put the screw in. I use the same screw over again. Find the hole, get it started, and then now, like I said, I only put it back with one screw because I don't find any difference with two. So now I'm just going to reverse the process again. I'm going to take, put it on here first, the cam first. 
That holds that. Then use the needle nose pliers and put it back where I got it. There you go. So on the bottom of the couch you'll find this white tag here with numbers on it. Take a picture of that with your cell phone when you call Lazy Boy because they're going to need numbers off of it and that's what tells them where you got the couch and how long you've had it and um, that it's covered under warranty etc and exactly what kind of cable release it is. Ah, nothing better. Where's that remote? Thanks for watching. Visit my website, handydad.tv, for more great ideas, and subscribe to be the first to know when new videos are posted.